सिक्स जनवरी टू मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बापदादा मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन सीन्स आर परफॉर्म्ड व्हेन यू बिकेम बॉडी कॉन्शियस दे आर फॉर प्रॉमिस यू विल ब्रेक अवे फ्रॉम एवरीवन एल्स एंड फोर्ज ऑल रिलेशनशिप्स विद वन क्वेश्चन व्हाट नेचुरल सीन्स डू पीपल कंसिडर टू बी एक्ट्स ऑफ गॉड आंसर द नेचुरल कैलमिटीज दैट कम इन द ड्रामा at the time of destruction just one wave of an ocean will wipe away all the lands and islands real search for this continue to take place at this time all of those are natural scenes people say that they are acts of god but baba says i don't give directions for those all of those are fixed in the drama song who came to the door of my mind with the sound of an ankle bells om shanti who came means whom did you remember it isn't that someone came and sat in your heart that would mean he is omnipresent no human came into my remembrance the immortal image is the one who cannot be eaten by death the sick have the immortal throne they have the akali people means caste of sikh those people don't understand that their sikh religion is a religion of the family path only the one original eternal deity religion has disappeared another religion is that of renunciation the path of isolation they leave their homes and families take up limited renunciation and stay pure they would definitely stay pure in the forest the customs and systems of all religions are different their teachings are also different that is the religion of the path of isolation those who follow them should also have to leave their homes and wear saffron clothes although those people say they can attain knowledge while living at home neither is that knowledge nor can the sanyasis make them do that in fact a guru is one who grants salvation there is only one who can do that guru nanak to give teachings he also praised the supreme soul the incorporeal one the immortal image you now have remembrance of that immortal image the supreme father the supreme soul the saying the praise the immortal image is beyond rebirth the lord himself is the creator the fearless one who has no animosity the immortal image the satguru prasad jap sahib means chant the name of one are all praise of the supreme father the supreme soul different forms of praise mentioned in the sikh scriptures the belief in the immortal image he tells you that the golden age is the truth means it exists whatever is to happen is the truth then they also say that he washes the dirty impure clothes the purifier means he washes the dirty clothes he cleans them and this is why he is praised then the refer to human beings of this time as thieves and orphans this is also remembered of this time then nanak sees just think about this o oh, degraded one they then sacrifice themselves to him they must definitely have sacrificed themselves when he came baba says i come to afflict those with stone intellects once without virtues the sages etc therefore definitely all are impure this is a matter of the unlimited and so the master of the unlimited would definitely come and explain brahma vishnu and shankar are also my creation the original eternal deity religion is established through brahma the innumerable religions are destroyed through shankar all the others who come simply establish their own religion those gurus are not bestowers of salvation their own dynasty hasn't grown fully and so how could they grant salvation 
the father says i come and establish the original eternal deity religion and inspire the destruction of all irreligiousness at this time all half became tamo pradhan sinful souls human beings who are actors of this animated drama should know how this world cycle turns the father comes and makes us children trikaladarshi you also understand that the father definitely comes and establishes heaven the land of truth and destroys the land of falsehood the one who establishes the land of truth is the truth only baba explains all of those things not everyone can imbibe all of those things because they have a lot of body consciousness the more soul conscious you became and consider yourselves to be body of souls and remember baba the more you will be able to imbibe those who are body conscious are unable to imbibe only by having yoga are the signs of you souls will burnt away during the day there is body consciousness and so when should you practice being soul conscious the father says became conquerors of sleep the father explains so many good points but there are some children who don't even listen to the murli to study is the main thing you must definitely study the murli in whatever way you can however it shouldn't be that you continue to enlarge in vice and also ask for murlis until they guarantee this murlis mustn't be sent to them what will become the state of those who don't study the murli even good children don't study the murli they become intoxicated means wrongly otherwise the murli should not be missed for a single day if someone is unable to imbibe it should be understood that there is body consciousness such ones won't be able to claim a high status baba explains very well and your children also have to explain to others baba cannot go outside baba explains in front of just your children the senior mama is incognito shaktis can go outside when conferences take place there is no representative of the original eternal deity religion this point also has to be explained all the other fathers of religions that come simply come to establish a religion and not to destroy a religiousness establishment of the religion of truth and the destruction of all irreligiousness only take place at the confluence age the father comes when it is the stage of descent the stage of ascent only comes once there is also a verse about this baba read it in his childhood guru nanak said all are those who defame god all are false not a single person remains pure in the sikh religion they have the akali caste who are shown with a black circle on their heads that is the discus of self realization it is a symbol of purity they also wear a bracelet and both of those are symbols of purity neither do they understand the meaning of them nor do they remain pure this scar thread is also a symbol of purity nowadays they have removed all of them the brahmin caste is the most elevated and they keep a long top knot however none of them stays pure only the one supreme father the supreme soul comes and purifies everyone it isn't that buddha and christ were purifiers no there are many gurus in the world who teach and educate you but the bestower of salvation for all the purifier is only one i alone come to purify everyone and take you all back with me together with the ocean of knowledge there are you ganges of knowledge who are also his helpers they have even placed images of goddesses at the river ganges in fact you are the ganges of knowledge but you cannot be worshiped at this time because you are now becoming worthy from being worshipers you are becoming worthy of worship and you will then stop being worshipers 
The significance of this is explained, but it doesn't sit in anyone's intellect. Follow Baba Srimad at every step. Continue to renounce body consciousness. All of those friends and relatives, etc., are to be destroyed. All of us will go back home, but the world will still remain. The Father says, I am the creator of the new world, but I still have to come into the old world, which is why I am called the purifier. Therefore, the world must surely be impure. There won't be anyone impure in the pure world. God has to establish heaven, and this is why he is called heavenly God, the Father. Christ does not establish heaven. Yes, all the souls that come from up above at that time are Satapradhan, but no one else can make impure ones pure. Your children must not commit any sins. Now, that would cause you to be called impure. Sins are committed out of body consciousness. You guarantee that you will break away from everyone else and connect yourselves to the one. Now fulfill that promise, otherwise there will be punishment. It is also mentioned in the Granth, means sick scripture. Due to the stage of ascent, there is benefit for everyone. The terms are very good, but whatever you had studied has to be forgotten. Baba doesn't even fully remember the names of the children because he has to remember Sri Baba. This is why Baba says stay happy, stay prosperous, don't forget and don't remember. However, Baba definitely remembers the serviceable ones. Such and such a child is a very good helper. The wealthy are in extreme darkness. No one is aware that death is just ahead. God speaks, I teach you Raj Yoga, and so the goddess of wealth is definitely created through knowledge. A whole kingdom is being created number-wise. You know that. You are studying number-wise. Baba says, I am establishing a kingdom. I inspired the destruction of the innumerable religions. However, there is only the one supreme Sadguru. Only the one highest on high God is remembered. Even the highest on high Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar cannot be called God. So how could Ram or Krishna be called God? That one is the ocean of knowledge, the purifier. Devotees remember God. They don't remember Brahma, Vishnu or Shankar. They have now become adulterated. So many good things have to be imbibed. Those who do something will receive the return of it. You are the Ganges of knowledge. You are the river banks. The ocean cannot go anywhere. However, that is a non-living ocean, whereas this one is the living ocean. So much damage is caused by just one wave of a physical ocean in a storm. At the time of destruction, there will be storms with great force. All the lands and the islands etc. will be destroyed. It won't take long. They consider natural calamities to be godly acts. This is why they say that destruction takes place through Shankar and have therefore said it is a godly act. However, the father says I don't give such a direction. All of that is fixed in the drama. The storms and natural calamities will all do their work. These calamities will come cycle after cycle. All lands will be destroyed and only the one Bharat will remain. Preparations are being made for this. Real cells will continue to take place. This natural play has been created. You Shiv Shakti can go anywhere and explain to them. All of you want peace to be established. But do you know where there can be peace? Where there can be happiness and where there is sorrow are all things to be understood. It is now the land of sorrow. The same Bharat was the land of happiness. It used to be the kingdom of the original eternal deities. The Iron Age is the land of sorrow and it is definitely to be destroyed. 
first there will be the end and then the beginning in the middle there are many religions in the golden age there was just the one religion this is the cycle of the drama and it has four main religions the leg of one religion is lost tell us the one who establishes the deity religion the supreme father the supreme soul carries out establishment through brahma in fact you too are the children of brahma the father of people you are also the children of shiv because of being the children of brahma you are brothers and sisters you know that you now belong to him the supreme father the supreme soul first creates the brahman religion the brahman religion is the top knot all the others came later number wise in the end there will definitely be your revelation acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point in order to imbibe this knowledge remain soul conscious as much as possible practice being bodiless by staying awake at night second point no matter how definitely read and study amurly every day don't miss it for a single day promise to break away from everyone else and connect yourselves to the fun blessing may you become double light and fly in the flying stage by stabilizing in a point form explanation constantly keep in your awareness that you are the stars of the father's eyes stars of the eyes means only points can be in the eyes the speciality of seeing with the eyes is with points so stay in a point form for thus is the way to fly in the flying stage perform every action as a point and you will remain light do not have the habit of carrying any type of burden instead of saying mine say yours and you will become double light you will then not have any burden in your self progress or in the task of world service slogan a world transformer is one who transform negative into positive om shanti experience the stage of being merged in love remain lost in the awareness of the body in such a way that your life is not based on body consciousness day or night hunger or thirst happiness or facilities of comfort then your stage will be that of being merged in love just as a flame is a form of light it is the form of light and might in the same way like the flame you became the form of light and might om shanti